When we're about to make a change in the registry in our Windows Server, sometimes it's a good idea to export the key we're about to change in order to keep from having any problems. Let's go ahead and right click on our start button, choose run, and type in regedit as you see here. And here we see all of the different hive keys in our registry. Let's go ahead and pick one of the keys. We'll just go ahead and go to choose system. And from here, we'll choose current control set. And here we'll choose control. So let's right click on control and choose export. And we'll go to the desktop and we'll just call it control backup. And you see it's going to save it as a .reg file. Let's go ahead and click save and minimize. And now we can see the control backup. Let's go ahead and right click on it and choose edit. And we see now a text version of what that key looks like along with all of its settings. Let's go back into the registry. And from here, let's go ahead and delete one of the uh, values that you see on the right hand side. And then we'll, I'll show you how to restore that in case you feel that you made a big mistake. So let's go ahead and click on dirty shutdown, hit delete. Now it's gone. And we find out, oh no, we made a big mistake. We need to go back and put that back in. Or let's say we went into one of these uh, settings and we accidentally send it, set it to zero instead of one, and we can't remember what it was before we made the change. So it doesn't matter either one of those. Let's just go ahead and minimize this. Let's go back to our control backup. All we have to do is double click on it and choose yes. Now you may see a message that said it can't import everything back in, not everything, because some things you don't have access to. But we know that the data we deleted, we had access to because it allowed us to do it. So go ahead and click OK. We'll go back into the registry and we can see that our last boot succeeded is set back to one and our dirty shutdown has been restored as well. So that's how you back up a key in the registry in Windows Server 2016 and how to restore it.